G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, a little while back you would have seen I did some videos showing how I had to clean up in the shed, you know, sell stuff. I mean, make room. It was pretty traumatic. Yeah, wasn't good. But anyway, got through that and tidied up. And Anyway, I had to go out today and get some fuel for the leaf blower and... Uh, it was Saturday. Saturday was a bad day for me, you know, like all well, those garage sales, I mean, they're everywhere, you know, and uh, well, yeah, I went to a few. Yeah, and I got a bargain. I'll show you what I got. Well, have a look at that on the back of the, the, back of the tray. An air compressor for 10 bucks. 10 bucks, I mean, and it's got a McColl motor on it, the same as on my old Shorblin that I fitted on there. It's a half horsepower McColl vintage motor with a nice brass plate under all that paint so I can clean that up. So you get a, a motor, half horsepower vintage motor for 10 bucks, and an air compressor, a Clisby, quality Clisby air compressor. And you get a pressure gauge. And you get a blow off valve. And you get a tap. That's all, the, that's all the good stuff. And there's a water trap of sorts on there. Ten bucks. How can you pass up something like that? So I'll strip it down and uh, move a few of the bits on, make a few bucks, and it'll pay for itself. So, yeah. yeah there's the fuel up the back in the jerry can. But, uh, yeah. Now it's just a matter of getting it off. It's pretty bloody heavy. It took two of us to get it on. Ha <laughs> ha, bargain time. Everybody loves a bargain, especially me. So, there she go. Let's give it a go. Well, it remains to be seen how accurate the pressure gauge is. It's not pumping up very high. You haven't got it set very high. But that's not exactly a uh, Ock Health and Safety approved pressure tank, so I wouldn't want to push something like that too hard. It's high enough to blow up car tyres. That's probably all it's been used for. But it works right. No knocks or rattles. And there it goes. So, a $10 motor, eh? How does that grab you? Motor. Starts and runs good. And that's the same sort of motor as I got on the Shoreblend. I'll show you how they come up when you paint them up and polish them up. They look really good. 
These are a McColl motor. Old, they used to use these in shearing sheds a lot. Uh, they're a really good old motor. Here's the old McColl that I've got on the Shawblin. As you can see, it's a good looking old motor, and they've got a nice brass plate on the back that you can polish up. And uh, these are from the 30s or 40s. Well, maybe 50s. They made them for quite a while. But they suit the old lathes really nicely, and they're good and powerful. For a half horsepower, they're real horses. They're not these little ponies you get these days. Well, you know, that's pretty good for 10 bucks. I mean, you've got to look at what these, uh, what things are made up of, you know. When you buy stuff like this, you don't buy it as a going unit. But like, so you get the bits out that you want, like the electric motor, and the pressure gauge, and a few other bits and pieces, and then you sell the bits you don't want, and then you've got your motor for nothing. So I could sell that little compressor pump for 10 bucks, I should imagine. That means I've got my McComb vintage motor for nothing. Zero cents. So that's it, folks. But even if you didn't, you know, want to do that, and you wanted just a little compressor to run an air duster or blow up your car tyres, this would do it. I, you know, I wouldn't want to pump it up to 100 psi. It might shit itself. You never know. You know, the homemade tanks are not very, uh, you know, I, I, I often safety conscious. So, yeah, this isn't the sort of thing I'd pump up to 100 psi, not without standing well back from it anyway. But for low pressure work, yeah, it'll do the job. Air duster, car tyres. Yeah, all right, well that's it for me. Um, it shows you, if you ever go out Saturday morning, never pass up a garage sale. All right, see you next time. Cheers.